Hello everybody, welcome back to Sweet Transit today. We are taking an interesting look at our current playthrough and look at all the map area that we are utilizing. We're building so big compared to how much people we actually have in the game at the moment. We're up to just below 18,000. I did get some really good pointers in the last episode. We will go through those and we will fix that in this episode. But before then, I'm going to give you a little bit of a heads up of what we've been doing. So I have done this. You can see that we have this train standing around here. This is actually, and there's a lot of things to do. <laughs> uh, so this is actually the same train that was going up to uh, uh, Yonova up here to deliver fuel. I've just extended it now, so the route itself covers everything. So it goes from Yonava, which is the, the last stop in the list here. Uh, it then goes to the pump check to refuel. And then it goes and stands right here. And then how this works is it's kind of everything combined with one optional stop and one actual stop for every single station. So it looks at the coal mine, checks if there is any fuel in the coal mine or if there's more than a thousand. And it also checks if there is any fuel in the train. If either of those are false, it skips to the next one. Uh, for the cargo being empty, it will just continue skipping because all of these will have that cargo requirement so that criteria will be true for all of them and it will eventually find itself back here at the pump jack to load up again uh, otherwise they're checking every station before going there if they have less than a thousand fuel available and then just heading to the stations that's needed and i think this should scale pretty well as well so we can kind of just build this out as we continue just add more trains to it. And if we do that, I do think that this should be able to handle the majority of the whole map, to be honest. Because it, it, even though this is the furthest away, it will never go here unless it actually needs fuel. So it should be fairly optimist, uh, optimal as well working, I do believe. So that's kind of what I did with the fuel. I've also taken some of these high resource things. So we have a bunch of wood right here. We're actually over delivering on wood quite a bit. We should probably get rid of a few of these. I just updated all of my wood trains. And let's just face it, it's not needed. We don't need that much wood. That's not needed. So let's get rid of a few of these. Uh, if we're having this amount of wood standing around here, we're, we're way overkill. And I think we still have four trains on here. And we kind of doubled the throughput, right? Because we have access to these uh, F-20 wagons now. And we were using F-10 before and also a slower train. So yeah, we're in a way better situation right now with the trains. So all of the wood is going with diesel trains. Uh, all of the stone is going with diesel trains as well, except for the one that goes here. So this guy is not actually going with that. And I think I should probably send him away because I don't think that he will actually do anything more. And we actually have two here, so I'll just sell this guy once. To be honest, I could sell this guy as well. We're not doing stone here anymore. So they won't really do any anything. And yeah, I also added one for the the um, wheat. Simply because I checked this and I saw that it was empty. So I was like, okay, then let's add that. That'll be fine. I have not added any diesel trains inside of the city. I don't have any diesel in the city at the moment, so that's kind of why we didn't go for that at all. But yeah, this seems to be working fairly well, to be honest. 
one other good thing when it comes to diesel is that all of the diesel trains have fairly large fuel capacity. So you don't really need to worry about fuel as much when you get to this point. Which is nice. So yeah, you can see that these guys are actually still running out of fuel every now and then. And that's mainly because they use a lot of fuel when they're starting and stopping. And even with one of these wagons, it's still not that much fuel, to be honest, that you could use. I don't know the exact amount. I guess we can check that right here. So a coal tender is plus 48 and the actual train itself is 9. So we're at, what is that, 40, 57 fuel for these guys. And they're burning 7.2 per minute. If we're looking at DT30 instead, we're at 120 fuel and we're burning 8.4 a minute. So they have way, way better range. And they're also more powerful, so when it slows down like this, actually starting and stopping does take forever. So yeah, it seems like we're doing pretty well. This is a wood train as well, but it's the one train that goes into the city. So he will just be there for, for some time until I decide that I want to transition everything over to diesel. We still have a little bit of a leeway here. So something that's really convenient is they can actually... You can see your production of fuel at the moment and also the potential use of fuel. So as you build more trains, the potential consume actually goes up as well. So uh, yeah, we're using about half of it at the moment. So if we need to, we can continue building with diesel as well, which is going to be my, my plan going forward. Okay, so in the last episode, you guys were very kind and pointed out a few flaws in my way of building stuff. Do you know that I have played this game for hundreds of hours and I did not know this? I don't know how I missed it, but apparently somehow it completely got, got past me. So what I've been doing is I've been actually building these buildings the incorrect way. So I've been surrounding the boiler with crackers. That's not how this works. That's why I'm seeing so high worker count. I'm seeing 295 here, where it's actually really obvious is right here. We're using 860 workers to currently produce at most 284. Put that, write that number down, 284. I will redo this the way you're supposed to do it. And you'll see a small difference. Okay, so the previous numbers we had 284 production with 860 craftsmen. Remember that? We were also at 50 normal workers. How much do you think we're producing with this? <laughs> we don't have everyone here, of course, so we're seeing a little bit lower production than what we eventually will have. Uh, we have a lot more, it should be said. If you're struggling with actual laborers, this is not actually a better way to do it because you are using, we, we're using five times as many workers from laborers as we did before. But we're also using like one eighth or something like that. One seventh of the amount of craftsmen that we were using before. But most importantly, if you look at this, we are now producing 324 per minute within more or less exactly the same build. The only thing I changed here was that... I always just instinctly built the smelter around the, the uh, or not the smelter, I always built the steel mill around the kiln. I don't know why I did that, it doesn't actually make sense. It makes more sense that you have more kilns producing items for your actual steel mill. But no, that's not how my, my, my mind worked. I think it comes from this. So, when you're building bricks, 
the kind of unwieldy building to use, that is the building that you will actually put on the outside. And I think when I saw a building for these that are, are three slots, I, or technically six slots for this, but it's a little bit un more unwieldy than these 4x4s or 2x2s, I just kind of baseline went for it, I think. I think I just went, oh, okay, then we have to do that. And I didn't think any more of it. So I've been doing that for at least the 300 hours I've been playing now. Which is crazy. It's uh, That's nuts. That's nuts. So yeah. You want to make sure that you are actually surrounding the steel mill. Not the... These guys. Amazing. I'm, I'm amazed. Thank you so much for the comments for that. I don't remember exactly your name. I don't have it on hand at the moment. But I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. If there's anything else that I'm messing up in these episodes, let me know down in the comments below. I'm more than happy to, to suck up to my own mistakes sometimes. Um, and if I'm not, then, uh, you know, that's how it goes as well. So let's set this up as well, because this is also wrong. We should have one cracker and multiple boilers pumping oil into the cracker. So I will do that as well a little bit quickly, just so we can get away from these 295 workers. Uh, yeah, this was... Uh, this was eye-opening, let's just say that. So we're gonna have a bunch of boilers right here. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. So... I think what I wanna do is get rid of... Not that one, not the whole one. I just want this one to be gone. Because you do still reach that, right? Oh yeah, you do. Easily. Uh, so we can have... This guy, one of you, I'm just going to have these do that, and then you will go here. And it's even easier to build these because you can literally just drag these down. I think it's actually easier to build with this in the middle, because there isn't too many ways that you can do this. And that should be producing more with less workers. Yeah, so we were at 210 limit before. We are now at 240 per minute. With one third of the, the uh, workers. So yeah, it's actually worth it to look into if you're actually doing stuff correctly. And it's so easy to go, oh yeah, but I've been playing this game for 300 hours and I've done it the same way every single time and it's been working fine. Clearly hasn't. Clearly hasn't, so... Uh, Listen to people that know more than you. Or maybe not more than you, but at least have different experience to you. I think it's a really important part of all this. So yeah, that's pretty good. I uh, didn't actually kill our production too much either. I think we do need some bricks as well. I'm a bit annoyed with this production situation that we have right here. I'm almost thinking that... Because these are just... It's this station. This station is not good. I also don't know what to do to make it better. I did guess if I make a... What if I make it a cargo station right here? I'm just gonna see what the reach is for a cargo station if we put it... Passenger, cargo... Okay, that's not enough. Neither is that. Hmm. Yeah, I need some way to have more than these three trains standing here. That's the thing. Or I need to move my my production of bricks. There isn't really a reason to have it in this corner. It's kind of... I guess it does kind of make sense. It's nice to have the coal available here. These guys are pretty good. I guess what we do need is this guy. Yeah, how about we take you and we'll just go you and then we say DT30 upgrade. 
And then... That should be pretty good, I think. Maybe even do two of them. No, I don't think we can do two of them. I think we should probably upgrade this guy then. Go larger. Actually, it does hold 240, so that is that is close to what we need to, to have them do. I think we can kind of fit a cargo station in here, right? Yeah. And then we can go... Mm. Just something like this. That should give us a lot of station underground passage. Oh, that's pretty cool. I do like that. Let's go with that. Something like this. Because what this means is that we will be able to hold a lot more if we're looking now. We can hold 5,000 instead. That should be able to satisfy these two trains. And then is the question, can I somehow get another train in here? Yes. All right, so if we do this, get rid of you. And there, and that one. Not loading super fast, but I think it's all right. I think it's all right. That should get us a little bit closer with the, the production of everything that we need here. Mm. How is metal looking now? We actually do have a little bit of upkeep on metal, but with that change we are doing a lot better with metal as well. I did build... It's actually crazy how much more we are producing with this. It's nuts. That is nuts. And looks like these guys are kind of good at filling up as well. We have two trains going up to Minsk Wheat Station. Okay. Okay. I was looking over here now. Do we have a billion people standing here again? Yeah, we're still having way more wood trains than what we need. Let's continue selling these. I think what we eventually want to do is probably add something like a buffer over here. And then have them buffer instead of going into here when it's not full. Because like, if we're having a full wood station here. We don't need them to to uh, deliver into here. It's just not needed. That's just not needed. So production right now, upkeep is 228. Potential production is 165 for the bricks. So we do clearly need more production here. I, I am saying that this is correct, but I think it is. It doesn't make sense to use the drying yard as the actual production facility. But I guess we do have quite a bit of base here to actually produce more. So I think we could actually set up a little bit more, little bit more production here. That should be fine. Yeah. Let's do that right there. Do that and then these mm, like that you those and if we want to build anything additional now we're gonna have to drag this guy out and do something differently with that which i think is fine how much can we produce now that's 248. I would almost like to have one more, so I think we're going to do that. I'm gonna have you go all the way out here. Just so we get him out of the way completely then. 
Uh, and then you are going to go in here instead. There, I think. Yes. Perfect. Get rid of that. And some signals here. Can do 12 tiles. That's fine. Get rid of those. And we should actually have pushed this even further this way. To be honest. Could we get rid of these and do that maybe? So if we do this instead. That should allow us to have enough enough space for utilizing all of this area as well. And then we're just going to get rid of this. Get rid of you there. Both of these are going to need some platforms. And then do that. That stuff. Well, tiles. Yeah, that should really allow us to produce enough here. There we go. That's pretty good. I actually like this better than what I have done here. So, let's see. do that instead then we can have these just do this and then the same right here I'm just gonna have them T cross right there not you you should go there that is the same right yes except for the front but I don't think you can do that any better that will just look the same every time, regardless. But yeah, that should that should allow us to produce enough. 330, which is more than what we are currently producing. Actually, potential upkeep is a little bit higher. Not fully though. 3 322. So we should be able to to keep up with that. Just need to get the workers over here now. How did that impact this? Do we have a lot of people that are now... Okay, that actually balanced out craftsmen pretty good. We're still a little bit low on the... on the laborers. Which is... kind of to be expected. Luckily it's looking pretty good around here. You are running full the majority of the time. This guy does have fuel as well. And the... I should really tell them to not go here. I don't want the... Uh, requirement signal right there. And then we'll just do an influence of something like... Uh, prefer... Minus 100... That should make it so... Yeah. can even do it a little bit more than that. 200 tiles longer to go here, so the only time they should go here is if they have to. Unless they have to go there, I don't want them on that route. Cool. How is it looking with our fuel train? Is it this one? Yes. So you're now heading back. I kind of want to follow you and see how much do you actually have to deliver when you're starting to to deliver. You're now picking up fuel. Interesting part here is that we could technically tell this guy to go to the warehouse to pick up fuel as well if it's running out in the southern part of the map. I think you could do that with some clever clever ways of doing this. It's a bit cumbersome to work with large routes in this UI. I do give you that. If there's something that we could easily, or not easily, but we, that we could definitely improve when it comes to this, it is the the UI state in general. Especially these. 
Like once you get closer to 20 stops, it is a good amount of scrolling before you get to the bottom. I wish there was a more compact way of doing this. Maybe you could like minimize these so they became shorter. So you don't see the requirements maybe, that could be an option. I would, would enjoy that. Okay, we're not actually using that much then, because he is just standing here now. He's just waiting for for any of the stations to run out of fuel. So that's pretty good. Uh, what is happening with our stone? We're all standing here for some reason. And... That's unfortunate. Why did you decide to go there? That's way slower than you just continuing straight over this way again you can work that out with requirement signals and things like that i usually don't care enough this pri uh, this guy should probably be a diesel train to be honest that would probably be the better option okay we are doing okay some reason I think you actually do have to leave right otherwise you will be cargo at why did you leave if your cargo wasn't at zero oh yeah no that's fine that's fine okay so, looks like we have the majority being delivered here. I think we have some new stuff that we're going to have to start looking into here fairly soon. I would like to start pushing towards these things as well. Mostly, there's a city upgrade here soon. Coming up, I think. Um... Right here, with the city hall, that should allow us to expand our cities a little bit more. We do have a lot of ways to go before then. But yeah, maybe in the next next episode I would like to... I have a few things, I started it in, in the last episode. So I want to connect this up to here. I want to disconnect this part. And have these three combine into this route, so... It'll be a bit further to go for them, but I think that's fine. And then I want to clear up all of this mess while leaving this station somewhat where it's supposed to be and then having this one being where it's supposed to be. But just this intersection and all of this map mess, I want to try to clean up as much as possible, make this station as big as possible and also being a cargo station instead. Maybe making this into a passenger station as well, potentially. I don't think we need that. But this one should definitely be a cargo station. So I think that's going to be be a plan for the next episode. This was more a PSA, I guess. For uh, the fact that I'm an, an idiot when I'm building stuff. And we still don't have the workers that we need here. Still producing more than we did before, though. <laughs> With the 860 people. How how in the world did I not realize that that's a little bit much? It's just slightly much. A little bit more than what we need. And here we are producing all the diesel that we need as well. So looking good. Looking good. Nice and dandy. Everything is looking fantastic. We haven't done anything with the city at the moment. We don't really need to. We are doing just fine with the workers, as is, right now. So everything is looking pretty good. I do hope that you have enjoyed this episode. If you are interested in more Sweet Transit, we do that every now and then on the channel. So click that subscribe button if you would like to see more of that stuff. If this particular video was surprisingly good, make sure you like it. It's always appreciated. And until next time, bye bye everyone.